Hello and welcome to Easy Animator Pro version 2.1, sort of. Now I say sort of because um, the programmer forgot to add in 2.1 up here and there is a couple of things that I need to let you know about uh, that are bugs that we need to fix. So um, it's a minor bug and uh, just also a little provisos because some of the new features. So let me just run through them real quick. We now have the ability to uh, use your system fonts for text so that uh, greatly increases the amount of uh, text options that you have and if you are uh, d uh, English, uh, non-English uh, language you can use the RTL feature which basically allows you to type in the text right to left that's particularly useful for Arabic and Hebrew users so uh, you now have that option um, I'm looking for any kind of feedback and ha improve, improve that if you are in other languages that go in other directions let me know and um, we can add that in so um, we now also have the ability to import mp4 files um, and they'll export to mp4 they should export to gif and M mov but really the mp4 is what it was designed for uh, really this was um, to give those of you on a pc who uh, can't uh, use the um, transparency anymore the mov uh, is uh, with transparency is no longer supported on the pc although some of you can get around that with older versions of quicktime some of you can't so particularly with the newest version of Camtasia, for example. So um, we wanted to have an alternate option for you. And so we now can import this. You can import in the MP4 and you can move it around and size it. Um, it is having a little bit of problem with selecting as I'm kind of seeing right here. Uh, that's, that's, oh, I'm, I'm in text mode. That's maybe what the problem is. Yeah. So um, I can size it and move it around uh, and everything. Now here's an important thing. You're going to want to edit these videos before you put them inside of uh, Easy Animator Pro in terms of the time. So if you know you need a 10 second animation, you need to edit it before because there is no capacity for editing uh, the video inside of Easy Animator Pro. This is really just about doing overlays on top of it, such as this where I've got this kind of... Um, you know, uh, you know, kind of like a, a lower third or something like that. This is using easy text boxes. Um, and obviously this was kind of inspired by easy text boxes. Um, we released that and many people said, hey, you know, on the PC I can't do QuickTime MOV and so forth. And so um, we decided to throw this in at the last minute. It's not perfect, but, um, you know, at least it gives you an option. It does, it is um, timed at frame by frame so that the anim if you're expecting to send this to come in in two seconds of this video, it's going to actually do that, and it exports in decent quality, and so forth. But um, don't ex it will not work with SWF, um, and we're, and we only have the ability to import M MP4. Um, let me so moving on, we have a new clone feature. So if I s select something, I can clone it now and make a copy of it. Uh, so that's kind of handy, and uh, I can remove it, of course. Um, we now have to, uh, this is probably the most trouble spot currently, and that is the, uh, the animation effects. Now, um, I do have a new import animation, FX animations, but it doesn't work uh, properly, at least on the Macintosh. And so um, I'm going to be showing you in a separate video how to import these. These are now available as a download. I have added about 20 additional ones. And um, you'll also note that in, in the upcoming versions, we'll have a lot more kind of uh, these as bonuses, particularly in Anabit packs. Um, so uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, let's see, with a clone, uh, importing MP4, um, the text. Oh, one last thing on text. If I edit text, I'm going to enter, enter in some text here. I'm using one of my system fonts. And before, when you're in text mode, you can t t change all the properties, of course. But when you go out of it, you before you couldn't, but now you can go into the properties and have at least the select the text selected. And I can at least change the font, color, um, alignment, and size, things like that. So you, you can't necessarily change the actual text. You do, do need to go into text mode for that, like I am now. But um, otherwise, you, you at least have the ability to change some of the properties for text. And that is the, the pretty much all that's new inside of Easy Animator Pro version 2.1. Um, what we're going to basically be doing is um, I'm releasing this to current users. Um, you know, let me know any feedback and everything. We'll clean up the uh, the import for the presets. Uh, I'm sorry for the animation effects options and uh, any other kind of bugs or suggestions for text, um, particularly for for other languages. 
uh, like the right to left. And uh, then we'll finally be ready to do our full public release for the first time ever. There's always been doing private releases up to now. So thank you so much for your support and for your suggestions and your feedback. And I uh, hope you uh, get a lot out of Easy Animator Pro version 2.1.